Hey, what's up everybody? It's your book on Mad Mets of Patience, aka Ryan Shrunky, back at again with a new video. So, today I'll be doing the Son of the Void part 7, so let's get started. So quick plug in, please uh, go follow me on my Instagram and join my Discord server and make it alive, please. So yeah. So quick recap. So basically the last time I talked about the interest exam uh, and like Izuku spending time with Momo and the first day of like UA, the test and Bakugo made him uh, like Izuku and Izuku driving uh, Momo to home basically and spending the night together so yeah so time skip to the next day momo and izuku woke up cuddling together and got up and prepared themselves for a new day with momo going to school and izuku probably going to patrol around the city when they got down they greeted momo's parents and ate breakfast after 30 minutes izuku grabbed his key and called momo to drop her off so Izuku was talking with Momo about random stuff like school days or clothing and fashion or music until they reached their destination. But with bad luck because All Might and Rigashi saw Izuku dropping, dropping Momo, they stared at each other and like with Izuku giving them blank face. He looked at Momo and kissed her cheek and said goodbye. So another point of view. All Might's point of view. So All Might then said Hey son, who's that kid who's dropped Momo girl? Then Rigishi said, he's my brother that we left years ago and we, uh, and we forgot about. Then Omar said, son, you mean that kid is my useless son? Huh, I never thought he will s survive this long. Then Rigishi said, that's all what can you say. Sometimes I regret being your son. You don't deserve to be your called dad, Toshi Toshinori. He is quirkless as you was a long time ago. Or did you forget that Nana gave you a quirk? I really regret being your son. And then All Might said, What did I do to you? I took care of you and raised you to be a good hero. Then Rigashi said, That's right. You raised me to be a hero, not a son. And because of you, I lost my brother. I will never... I will leave. Don't follow me. I hate you. With that, Rigashi left and like Toshi alone, while Toshi was thinking to himself, did I make the worst choice by leaving my old, older son? And how can I fix my mistake and get closer to him? Hmm, all the time will tell. So today basically like uh, Momo uh, went to the class, uh, Aizawa entered and told them that they will soon be having like a special training kinda and told them that they will be doing it with another teacher. So they did like regular class like English, history, uh, like science and stuff and math until the last uh, like class and they killed here i'm coming through like normal person and it was all my like wearing his old costume like sil silver age yeah i think it's silver age costume and they told them uh, he told them that they will be having a, a hero training 101 and it's like villain versus hero training so uh, like it's go kind of like as or like also as canon but like uh let's say izuku switch with um uh, with his brother so yeah so after they finished their training they decided to go back uh to home like momo called izuku if he can go like pick her up before like the style class started and he told her that he's busy and he's doing something and he can't and said he was sorry and she told him that it's okay i'm gonna call uh, like 
one of the drivers to pick me up and she told him that it's okay and with that they hang up so after the like let's say in another kind of point of view izuku so izuku was going through the city patrolling see like stopping a little bit like mugging and tried like mugging and i don't know kidnapping until he got met with a razor head but he met with him in a different kind of way so when izuku was patrolling he heard uh, like uh, fighting like going on like a lot of uh, members screaming when he got to the alleyway he saw around like uh, 15 men with a strong uh, quirks and aizawa was fighting them he had like some hard time like finding them because let's say if all of them have kind of uh, like super strength quirks and hardening quirks and stuff like that and uh, which made this and some of them like have transformation quirk which he can't erase so yeah so izuku decided to join him uh, like he was like hesitant to join him in the fight but after thinking he saw that Aizawa was getting a little bit beat down and he was kinda bleeding in his uh, like chest area so he jumped in he uh, like turned into a limbo opened the portal for Aizawa and uh, switch again uh, like uh, shoes Rhino bet the villains or the gang group and like after he bet them he switched again to limbo he like opened up another portal he entered grabbed Aizawa and took him to the like uh, Yuyoruzu's uh, mansion so after he arrived there um, because of limbo speed he can go a little bit faster than usual so and he is in his dimension so he's faster so after like he took him there uh, like the Momo's parents and Momo saw Izuku holding a uh, eraser head or as Momo know him as um, Aizawa she, when Momo looked at Aizawa she screamed Aizawa sensei what happened like Momo uh, I said Momo uh, Aizawa looked at Momo and said I don't remember exactly I'm having a great headache and this thing is kind of saved me so when they entered their like uh, the mansion Izuku has, uh, like start emitting green kind of smoke and Aizawa was breathing it inside him so he saw himself start healing himself like his uh, like scars start getting away like vanished until he got he got to a normal and good state and his eyes didn't burn for, like in a long time ago like he can, in kind of way he also uh, fixed his eyes like now he can use them normally without his eyes hurting so he looked at the thing and said who are you and Momo how do you know him and Momo looked at him like start putting two fingers to each other and blushing a little bit and he's like she said he's my boyfriend and with that like uh, Izuku uh, switched back to his normal like self eraser head so uh, Izuku was uh, looking at eraser head and like Aizawa also looking at him and said hey kid do you know I should be like capturing you right now because you're doing vigilantism and but I will not do it because you saved me and tell me kid why didn't you become a hero then like uh, Izuku looked at Aizawa and said to be honest with you I lost my like hope in heroes a long time ago since I was five years old I was thinking of like suicide but thanks to Momo she saved me from myself because she promised me something that I will like I should keep living for her and that's what I did I trained for a little bit until I got 10 I got shot uh, uh Loris took me to a like kind of capsule that held me and kind of awakened my power no it's not quirk it's power and uh, i like until this year i got back i was kind of in space fighting some aliens and stuff you will probably say i'm lying but it's true wait until like vor was here and then you will believe me so 
like as i was still thinking like at this like what the hell who was so you tell like and then as i was said so you telling me that you were living alone left alone homeless with nowhere to live until like someone like uh, old sensei that decided to uh, like take you to his uh, like temple train you uh, give you like work in his friend kind of restaurant then get a lot of things there's a lot to take in and tell me who's your parents do you remember them then izuku looked at like aizawa and momo and look at when he looked at momo and said should i tell him then momo looked at aizawa and then looked at izuku and then said i think you we can trust him izuku looked at aizawa and said my parents are very known heroes one of them is the number one and the other one is the number seventh as you know the number one hero is all might and the number seven is titan so you probably know them and also i have my brother rigashi he probably he is in your class too and at this moment aizawa was like gone he didn't know how like he tried to talk about couldn't like all these things all might did leave his son because he was quirkless and he also forgot that he was also quirkless this is messed up you know so Aizawa decided to ask hey kid and then Izuku then said you can call me Izuku then Aizawa said okay Izuku can you do you want to be, do you want to be a hero then Izuku said no I don't want to be as I told you, I lost hope in heroes a long time ago. Then, uh, like, Aizawa gave, like, another choice to Izuku and said, Do you want to be my sensei to teach, uh, like, some stuff to class? Izuku was kind of hesitant. He looked at Momo and, like, she nodded at him and, like, giving him the puppy eyes, like, please, like, agree with this. And, like, Izuku sighed and said, Okay, I'm doing only this for my girlfriend, Momo and uh, with that as i was said okay so tomorrow come here uh, like uh with your girlfriend i will meet you outside the guest and i will ta talk to you nizu about this stuff and give you an idea so you can enter and leave so with that aizawa like thanked izuku for saving him and left so and the day continued as normal uh with uh, like kind of momo hanging with izuku and they wouldn't like talking watching tv until like izuku uh, said to momo i'll be back in a moment when izuku decided to go back he started looking around when he saw more like uh, momo's father he saw him sitting and smoking a cigarette he sat beside him and said what's happening is everything okay then like uh like momo's uh tikishi i think i called him momo's father said it's okay i just miss my old days with momo's uh like momo's uh, mother spending time having good relationship but i have some problems that i can like have good like good relation uh, because it kind of starts working Izuku like understood what uh, like Momo's father was going around so he uh, decided to ask and said I can give you the like the thing that will help you and probably will give you a lot of stamina do you want to risk it because I you might make your wife addicted to you I don't know but it's your choice and with that like uh, momo's father was happy and said i can if you want anything and please do it i will give you anything and like izuku then said you don't need to give me anything you already gave it to me because now i'm living with my like i will I, i'm living a happy life with my dream girl with that izuku grabbed like um, Momo's fa like Tikashi's face and starts gear yeah, like emitting green aura and which held him and gave him strength and a long long shaft you know so <laughs> yeah it tells him a lot like Momo's father thanked him and with that Izuku got back 
and forgot I said anything about this part, so <laughs> yeah. And yeah, like they hanged out with each other until the uh, like the day ended, and yeah. So I'm gonna leave it right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and as I always say, I hope you're having great time, spending time with your family, girlfriend, wife. I don't know any person that you like and also stay safe wash your hand and clean yourself and yeah as i always say please don't forget to leave a like subscribe press the notification bell see you in the next video peace out bye bye